Hey guys, welcome back um, to this IXL that we're working on. We're working on Algebra 1 B.2. So our goal here is to work with um, order of operations. I, I know that's not necessarily the title of the IXL, but the way we solve this is going to be using order of operations. So let's take a look here. This, this IXL has us solving a couple, they're going to take a couple strings of numbers with some division, multiplication, maybe some squaring, some parentheses, things like that. Now hopefully this is a bit of a review for you. Hopefully you, you feel pretty comfortable with this, but if not, we're going to walk our way through this. Now if you remember PEMDAS, it should have looked something like this in the past when you took Algebra 1. Uh, P stands for parentheses. Anytime we run into a parentheses when doing these problems, we, we want to immediately solve those first. The second thing we're looking for is exponents. And remember, exponents is like 5. If this was 5 squared, that would be an exponent. We don't have any parentheses. We don't have any exponents here, so that's okay. Now, let's go ahead and take a look. We've got multiplication and division would be our next step. Now, with multiplication and division, it's kind of all one step. We're just going to go left to right as we look through this. So as I look through this problem, I notice I actually do have some division here, right? I've got negative 4 divided by 4. And we're going left to right. So let's go ahead and deal with that. Negative 4 divided by 4, that is going to get me negative 1. Let me see if I can get my uh, pen working here. Mm, there we go. Negative 1 minus 5. A number divided by itself is 1, and we have a negative divided by a positive, so that's also a negative. So negative 1. And then we finish our multiplication and division. Let's look at addition and subtraction. I do have some subtraction here. Negative 1 minus 5. Well, that's going to be negative 6. And let's check our answer here. All right, that looks good. So once again, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, now, the temptation here would be to do your subtraction first because it so shows up first in your problem. Remember, you got to follow your order of operations. We have to do the division first here because it's first in my PEMDAS. I start at the top, work my way down. So this would be five or three minus, five divided by five would be one, three minus one. So the answer here would be two. So follow your order of operations. So let's, let's try a harder problem here. Let me find, um, that one's pretty easy. That one looks pretty easy. Let's see if we can, um... all right, this is a good one. So I've got eight divided by two minus three plus seven. So once again, no parentheses, no exponents. I do though have some division here right off the bat and that's the only multiplication division I have. So the first thing I'm gonna do is this eight divided by two. So eight divided by two, that is going to come out to be four. 4 minus 3 plus 7. And then 4 minus 3, that's 1, plus 7. Um, notice we're doing addition and subtraction all at the same time. So we're not doing all the addition and all the subtraction. Just any time we run into subtraction or addition, we're going to solve it. So we start moving along. We find a subtraction, so we do that. We find an addition, so now we're going to do that. And we end up here at 8 as our final answer. Let's look at one last problem. And you guys should be ready to go for this IXL. Um, that one's good. It's got some different stuff. I want to see if I find one with some parentheses. Yeah, here we go. So I've got some parentheses here. I've got some multiplication and some division and some parentheses. And once again, don't always go, just go left to right. You have to start here. Do I have any parentheses? I do. I have them right here. So I'm going to deal with that first. Once I deal with that, then I should be good to solve the rest of this. So I've got 7 times, in the parentheses, 7 minus 3, that's going to be 4 divided by 7. So that takes care of my parentheses, if you want, you can like cross it out every time. Uh, exponents, I don't have any exponents. I do have some multiplication and division. Again, going left to right, 7 times 4 is 28 divided by 7. 28 divided by 7, well, that's just 4. So on the Excel, you should get to at least a 75, um, just kind of a review of order of operations. Um, notice here we have some exponents. We don't have any parentheses, but we do have some exponents. So if I was doing this problem, I would deal with my exponents first, and then I'd do my division, and then I'd do my addition. So. Hopefully that's helpful. Um, go ahead and remember if you ever get one wrong on IXL, say I say that's two and it's not two, 
um, it's always going to give me a an example of how to do these so here it shows me that um, I need to do my exponents first and then my division and, or, and then my addition. So if you need help, check the IXLs out as you go. Hopefully this is helpful for completing Algebra 1B.2.